can you come around get closer get closer to the booth thank you for coming can you hear me all right great wonderful hey come around please please All right, so thank you very much for coming to our AstroScale booth and uh, thank you for coming to the whiskey tasting reception. And <laughs> as you can see, we have bottles from three countries. Um, our colleagues will tell you later. But um, we're going to announce uh, some, we have uh, some announcements today. And uh, thank you for coming because the, the weather is not so good, but uh, we're going to you know, introduce uh, a brief introduction of ourselves and announce some uh, announce something and then we, all guys please go to the this way and uh, taste the uh, whiskeys all right so i'll pass to the no my my, my name is nobu <laughs> nobu founder and Astros, uh, founder ceo of Astro scale all right so uh, i'll pass them to the ceo please hello everyone thank you and thanks to all the people in the other booths for uh, dealing with all the people here thank you so much for showing up on such a difficult weather day. It's great to have you. So I'm going to give you just a quick background of AstroScale, uh, and then we'll move on to the whiskey tasting. So as you know, we are a company that is devoted to solving the problem of space debris and keeping the orbit sustainable. And a long time ago, the orbits were sustainable because there was nothing in there that was human made. This was in about September 1957, just before Sputnik launched. But now, it looks like this. Now, the orbits are getting more and more crowded every day, and they will continue to be, which poses a threat to satellites in orbit, which poses a threat to our utilization of the data here on Earth. So we knew we needed to solve the problem. We all know this now, but six years ago, someone first started talking about this. This young guy right here started talking about this issue six years ago when this company was founded. And this is one of the first prototypes that we were looking at to solve this problem. We've since moved on to this. ELSA-D is our technology demonstration mission. You can see it right here. We're going to go up and demonstrate the technologies needed to find and capture a piece of debris. So we're looking at various customers in the government and the commercial industry. We're working on various technologies that are needed from the approach, diagnose, diagnosis, synchronizing motion, capture and deorbit of debris in space. And we're not just a technology company. We're talking about the technology, but we're also focused on the policies that are going to inform that technology and the business case. And all three of those things are closely tied together. So though we look like just a technology company, we are looking across the board at every aspect needed to make this a successful and sustainable business that can lead to sustainable orbits. As a company, we've been growing. From one person six years ago, we now have grown up to, seven, uh, to 70 people. From zero dollars six years ago, we now have raised $132 million in the past six years over four funding rounds. We had our most recent uh, second round of Series D uh, just recently announced that took us up to $132 million. With that, we've opened offices first in Singapore where Nobu started the company. Two years later, we opened our office in Tokyo, in Japan. That's where we're building the space segment of our mission. Then, a couple years ago, we opened an office in the UK, where we've been building our ground segment and also doing things with the regulatory environment and business case development. So we've built three global offices, but we hadn't had an office in the US. And so, Today, in addition to announcing this second round of Series D funding, which takes us to 132 million, I'm also happy to announce our U.S. office. Now, some of you may have seen the Secretary of Commerce's remarks yesterday, and he usurped this announcement a bit. Now, because he's a cabinet secretary, I think we can appreciate that that's okay. We're grateful to Secretary Ross and the Department of Commerce for making this announcement. So, it shouldn't be too much of a surprise to everybody that we are opening a U.S. office, and it's going to be in Denver, Colorado, Yay! opening right now. So as of now, we have a U.S. office for AstroScale. We cover Japan, 
and UK Europe, and now the United States. And now I'd like to introduce our vast US team <laughs> that is going to start running this office. So first I'll introduce Charity Whedon. She's been with us already for about a year. She's based in Washington, D.C. and covers strategic and policy aspects of what we're trying to do. And our most recent hire for the company is Ron Lopez. So Ron is going to be the managing director and leading our activities here in the U.S. based in Denver. Uh, he's already coming in and out of, the, out of Denver. He's, he's lived in Japan for the past few years. He's moving back to the U.S to live in Denver, he'll be here permanently from around June. So I'm going to turn it over to Ron, because in addition to being our uh, head of our US office, he is also an expert in whiskey. And he's going to explain the whiskeys in just a second. But before I do that, I'd like to introduce a couple other members of our senior leadership team. Uh, John Auburn, he is the chief commercial officer and the director of our UK office. And he's been with us for a couple years and is leading all of the activities in the UK. He's grown the team from just himself to close to 20 people right now. Also here is Andy Bradford. He's the head of our technology. And he's working on all the aspects of building this mission and future missions that are going to be, uh, to, to be removing debris. So he's working on all the technical aspects of things. A couple other people who are here I just want to call out. Uh, Allison Howlett, who is working on, uh, on, on, some, on all of the booth things, and Kanai Kobori, who is uh, from our offices in Japan. So thank you to Allison and Kanai, who have organized everything here. And Harriet is also here. Oh, there's Harriet. Harriet is also here. Harriet Brendel is also in our uh, UK office, and she's working on developing the economics of this issue. As I said, we're covering not just the technology, we're covering all aspects of what's needed to make this business work. Um, so I'll, I'll say thank you to everyone. I'm going to turn it over to our whiskey sommelier right now to explain about what we're going to be drinking in just a few minutes. Thank you, everyone. All right, thanks, Chris. Um, as Chris mentioned, my name is Ron Lopez. I'm really happy to be coming back to Colorado. And uh, before we get to the most important part of today's reception, what everybody's waiting for, right, the whiskey tasting, uh, it is my sincere um, honor to be able to introduce three very distinguished visitors we have with us here today the three whiskeys that we're going to be sampling. Um, so we've selected whiskeys from the three locations where we now have offices. Uh, we have one from Japan, uh, from the UK represented by Scotland, and right here in Colorado. And together these whiskeys I think reflect the story of Astroscale. So working backwards, we have a rye whiskey from the Woody Creek Distillery, which not only produces an outstanding whiskey, they're also known for their uh, very strong environmental ethos, and they've won many awards for their conservation efforts. Uh, then from uh, the UK, we have a bottle from Brooklady, the self-proclaimed a progressive distiller, which is uh, doing some very interesting and innovative things in a very old and established market. And then finally, we have uh, Yoichi from Japan. This was the first whiskey to win some major awards many years ago, and was really the product that put Japanese whiskies on the map internationally. And such is the story of Astroscale, where a small company that has a very strong environmental ethos, and we are doing some very innovative and interesting things in an old and established market, and by doing so, we think that we will be the startup that will put Japanese startups on the map internationally. And so with that, I'd like to invite everybody uh, in our invited guests first, please, to proceed over to the area and help celebrate Astroscale's success and our success together. All right, thank you very much. I need a box. Can I get a box? Get here first. Take Tell about me. a half a step back. Just like I, can, I can turn my. Alright, here we go, gentlemen. Uh, we should get the whole team here. 